We have to find the equation of a plane given this information and we've tried to draw a representation of the plane. Notice that it says the plane passes through the origin, so of course that simply means that it contains the point 0, 0, 0. And then we are told that it is perpendicular to a given line. So we've drawn that line. We've tried to show that they are perpendicular to each other, the line and the plane. And the key insight here is that if the line is perpendicular to the plane, as shown by that little right angle right there, then, and here comes that key insight, the direction of the line is exactly the same direction as the normal vector through the plane. So, in other words, the line and the normal vector are parallel to one another. And because the line and the normal vector are parallel to one another, then the direction numbers of the line will be the same direction numbers for that normal vector. So if you look at the equation of the line, we have these direction numbers, which are basically the coefficients of t. So those three numbers right there will serve as the direction numbers of the line, but also the direction numbers of the normal vector, because again, they are parallel. So we have all the data that we need. We have the direction numbers for the normal vector. Those are A, B, and C. And then we have the point 0, 0, 0 that lies on the plane. And that is symbolized by X naught, Y naught, and Z naught. So you're gonna plug those six numbers into the following equation. This equation right here, the so-called scalar equation of a plane. So again, we're just plugging in six numbers. We're going to plug in the point 0, 0, 0 in for x0, y0, z0, and then we're going to plug in the direction numbers of the normal vector a, b, and c. So let's go ahead and do so right now. And there we have it. We've plugged in all six numbers. We can simplify this equation, of course, because inside the parentheses, the x, y, z are just being subtracted by zero. So you're going to have negative eight just multiplied by x, minus seven just multiplied by y, and then plus two just multiplied by z and then this is set equal to zero. There it is, that is the equation of the plane based on the given information.